Good morning. Morning, how are you filming? How are you doing? Good, good, and you? We're back together. You guys probably don't know this, but I went on a little holiday for four days in Holland. Ayo came back home, toast is ready, and uh, I've only just got him back. It's been nice to sort of relax for the last four days and have a chill out time, but now we are back in Monaco, back to some absolutely stunning weather. And I'm having myself a little bit of toast. We're doing something super exciting today, aren't we? What are we, we doing? What are we doing? We're going to attempt to take the roof off of my Lotus. Because you're not really supposed to take it off the 380. They tell you you can't, but you can. So we're going to give it a go. And hopefully, it's going to transform my car. Whoa. I'm really excited for this because I've been waiting for the weather to get good enough for, to be able to take the roof off of the car. Now, I don't have a soft top for it like I did with the Elise. So once the roof's off, the roof is off, because it's not easy to, to put it back on. So now that we've got good weather, we thought it was the perfect time. I'm here for a little while now as well, so I can make the most out of it. Hopefully, it will really transform the experience, because when I took the roof off the Elise, you just hear the noise so much more and experience the elements around you. It was just absolutely fantastic. So I'm hoping for a similar thing. We need to clean it first, though, because it's filthy. Yep. And obviously, you can't clean it when the roof's off. So let's clean it before. Then take the roof off, then drive it around somewhere. And actually, because we've been away for a little while, I think we might need to do a little work in the garden, show you guys the garden. You've never really seen the garden in this house. So we'll be able to go outside and do a little bit of gardening as well. It's going to be a good day. I'm excited. Okay, we're outside now. Beautiful weather. And we're standing next to Paul's Lamborghini, which may be slightly confusing, but Paul left it here and he is coming back this weekend. So you're going to be able to see him in the videos again very, very soon. But... We are here for the Lotus, which is in the garage. Hasn't been started for 10 days or something. Hopefully we'll be fine. We're gonna take it out and look into taking the roof off. The Twizzy's here as well, but it's absolutely filthy. You'll see when we take it outside. So first things first, let's spray it down. Well, we're only really rinsing it down um, because we don't really have time to do the whole clean today. So we're just literally getting all of the sandy rain which came while we were away off of the car and then we're going to take the roof off but at least it'll look a tiny bit better man do i love this color in the sun this color just pops okay. so i have one one question for you okay i'm ready one, one quick question for you ask what are those i know this is what bad. let's not talk about it hey. well that was easy the car is now somewhat clean it's not perfectly clean but cleaner than it was so it's not too embarrassing now this is what we're going to be taking off some of you may be like, what, how can you take the roof off this? But this is a separate panel. It's basically like a Targa top. So you can't have a full convertible experience, but you can have the top off on this part, which is basically exactly the same panel as on my Lotus Elise. Now it is an option to get this in carbon fiber, part of the carbon fact of the 380, carbon, carbon pack, did I say fact? I meant Yeah, you said pack. Yeah, well, I meant pack. <laughs> which comes with the engine cover, but kindly Lotus let me spec this with the colored roof because I thought it looked better, but still keep the carbon engine cover. Now, you're not supposed to take this off because it messes up the aerodynamics with the wing at the back. They sell a Roadster version of this where you get a removable hard top, but I think it looks cool with the painted roof like this. And we're just gonna take it off and see how it is. And then when we need to put it back on, we'll put it back on. But Lotus tell you you can't do this. You can, as long as you're not on track or doing high speed on the motorway, it won't really affect the handling of the car. So we're gonna take this off now, and it shouldn't really change any of the rigidity, only the aerodynamics, and it'll be fun. So it's just a few screws inside. Let's get started. Tools, here are the tools that Lotus give you in this little pack here to take the roof off. And uh, we've got the owner manual as well. There's water dropping in, but let's get started with this and the tools and hopefully it'll run smoothly. This is going on the car cleaner thing. Word. Oh, so close. This is the main tool for this, which Lotus gives you, and there are many screws to undo. So up here, there are three screws to take off this main panel, and then there may potentially be more under, we're not entirely sure. And then over here, you take these little things off, and you have some more screws there, followed by even more up here. And then, once all of those are off, the roofs should just uh, pop off. So. Let's get started with these bad boys. Okay, that one's off. One down. Two to go. I think this one's off too. Yeah, now you'll go. Okay. Yeah! There we go. Down. Okay. 
I see, so there's a screw here we need to take out. Ah, which has the little thing inside of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh because -oh. I don't know if they can see. Does it push up? No, no, no. No. You need like the key with the hole inside, which... We don't have. We don't have. No! Let's think about something. Oh, it's got the slots for the removable hardtop here as well. It's mm. kind of interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, we need to sort this out. Well, we suck. We now need to go and drive to a petrol station nearby who hopefully will have the piece we need to be able to take this roof off. If not, we have to go down into town, don't we? Yep, unfortunately. We'll figure it out. Let's give this a go. I'm super excited to have no roof on this, so I'll do what it takes to get it off. Well, we've arrived at this petrol station. We're gonna try and see if they've got it. They've got a shop inside. We called them and it didn't sound confidence filling. Let's see. They've given us this, which I believe is probably the right thing, right? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Looks like it. Okay, come on. Oh, it's just a tiny bit too big. Too big. Ah, okay. so we need, but he has others. Yeah, so. let, let's go skip the small one then. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Oh. It works? Yeah. No way. It fits. There we go. Oh, yes. Okay, so we take this out now. I guess you're going to have to, for the drive home, have the roof on your lap. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, my God. Perfect. This is so perfect. We are getting there. Wait, did we forget the other tool for the back part? No, 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 I have everything with me. Okay, so we need to not lose any of those. Yeah. So that does that, and then this comes out here. Interesting. Okay. Okay, well that's one side done. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah. This makes it so easy. Yeah, when you have the right tools, everything it's the best is easy. thing ever. Oh, and shit. it's lost. <laughs> Come on! Yes! There we go. Boom, like this. Okay. Okay. Now, shall we lift it? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, wait. It's up. It's up. And it it's up. up. Okay, let's go back. Go back. Oh. Uh. One handed. Okay. Let's uh, gently put it on the floor. Gently, gently. Gently. Oh. oh. Yes. Now this is a nice Targa right here. That looks legit. Looks nice. I love it. What do you think? What do you think? I think it looks so cool. It does. Oh, I'm not wearing shoes now. It's too, really cool. Yeah, flip flops are down yeah. there. Dude, it's so sick. I love it. Damn it, now I'm just gonna wanna keep it yeah. with no roof. For summertime, just leave it like that. Beautiful. Now I'm excited to drive it. Yeah. I think it's gonna make the experience much, much better. Yeah. Now the next issue is getting back without losing any screws <laughs> and uh, having the roof on your lap. Yeah. But we're gonna do it and it's super exciting. So let's buy these things so we can put the roof back on someday and get going. Let's see. Let's, oh, oh, step. Oh. Is this even possible? Is this even possible? We're gonna try to close the door. It needs to go in a bit more. Okay, push it in. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh! Boom. Okay. okay. But he's not gonna be able to sit down for sure. Yeah, I'm small. Manage? I'm small. Okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> hey! It's so tight in here. <laughs> Oh, you can hear it so much more. Perfect. Well, yeah, this so works. It's already much, much better, yeah. Well, can you even see where we're going? Me, no. Absolutely no idea. Oh. It sounds much better. It sounds so much better. All right, we made it. That was one of the most <laughs> random drives ever. Because we really had to go slow, didn't we? Yes, in order not to blow this off. Oh, okay. here we go. Feels much better now. We made it. I mean, just look at this. I, I think this is something every or much many cars should have this. Like yeah. the the option to take the roof off. To have a little target thing. Exactly. Especially for down here with this weather. Oh, yeah. These next days are going to be beautiful. 
Oh yeah. That looks cool. It does. I agree. I think it looks better without the roof. It does. It does definitely. Bro, it's so much easier to get in. Look, you can just wait. It's like freedom. <laughs> it makes it wait. Let's see. Huge difference. I know. It's oh. so much better. Right. I am dying to take this for a drive like this in this current state. So let's go for a cruise and hear this thing. <laughs> affects the levels of fun you can have. So. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's flying. Everything's flying. <laughs> what was this? Ah. Oh, I feel like I'm literally driving a race car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so cool. I want to do a tunnel. Oh my goodness, the tunnel. Where is there a tunnel? Uh. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds insane. What the? I honestly hell? didn't expect this. Like people, now I can understand what people Why are everyone, hearing. Yeah, because everyone yeah. was always like, "Dude, your car's louder than all the Lambos and stuff what? like that." I was like, "What?" It is insane. Oh, it yes. sounds like a like a huge loud trumpet. You know, like yeah, like, it does. It sounds wow. like an angry demon as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, "What? Oh, it's so nice." Oh, it I is love so this. Nice. Oh, taking the roof off was a good move. The best idea. For summer. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that? Mercy, Matt Black Mercy. That is so sick. LP640 as well on top of that. Very, very nice. So the little wing. Can't hear it though. Oh yeah. Very briefly. Look at us in the mirror right now. Let's see how it looks. Oh, Ooh. mate. Oh, mate. It looks good. It looks pretty sick. Okay. We have arrived in Monaco. We're driving straight to... Oh, we've got an Enlargo behind us. Oh my god, there is only like a very few amount of these in the entire world. I'm gonna try and let him pass. Okay. F12 and Lager, this is one of my favorite cars in the whole world. Bum, 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 oh. Bum, bum. oh my god. Ooh. That is insane. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh. Those, the kit for those is like 300 grand, and then you need to have the car already pretty mental anyways let's try and get behind him maybe hey. out of my way let's people. Go. we out can get him way. we can get we him. got a little scooter oh come on come on Something right here That's such a nice one that is insane matte red wow beautiful that, well, that's a good way to start our little arrival in Monaco. Now, let's hit up Casino Square. Casino Square, what do you have for us? Uh, we got a Porsche Turbo S right here with some nice wheels. Not bad. And apart from that, it is uh, not too much. We got an Evoque convertible. Evoque. Then we got an SL. We've got a Ferrari F430. Yep, we do have an Aventador, so at least got one of those, is that a Coupe or a Roadster? Uh, Coupe, I think. Okay, well, not too, too bad, but could be a lot better in Monaco. We're now gonna go towards the F1 tunnel, 
And uh, shall we go, where do you want to go, right. to the port? Yeah, let's, let's hit the, the new tarmac for the F1. The new tarmac for the F1, let's do look, it starts right here. Three, two, one, new tarmac. It's about... It's about to go very loud. Here we go! but it's just it's like I've really dri I've driven some loud cars and I've really driven a car that makes this much yeah. noise yeah. all right well we're on the start line and you can literally see this is genuinely that's the pole position right there and then this is the actual starting line so this is where it's going to go down late next week and people are going to be able to uh, come from all over the world and my competition the winners of which we'll be announcing sometime this week and you'll be able to come watch it with me all you need to do is go in the link below and buy some sep clothing and that's pretty much all you need to do and then subscribe to the channel and subscribe to leo tv's channel whose link will be down below as well and then you can come watch the grand prix with us ain't that lovely and simple i'm still loving driving this car around monica we're about to get to the port the road we are currently on is closed i'm not entirely sure why but I'm just gonna ask these guys. Excuse me, c'est ouvert pour passer là-bas? Uh, Apparently it's open. So he sounded like he had no idea. <laughs> he was like, yeah, 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 just go for it, dude. Um, anyways, this road is completely closed. Super smooth, because it's where the Formula One's gonna be. We're gonna go around the swimming pool, which should be kind of on here. But yeah, I'm excited for there to be a bunch of cars racing down here. I'm just so happy with this car, honestly. I've had just such good experiences with this car since owning it and now taking the roof off was just another thing that sort of excites you again about the car and then when i eventually do an exhaust there'll be that or if i rewrap it or anything like that yeah i'm excited ah look closed so yeah he didn't know what he was talking about holy crap there's a veyron there's an english veyron just chilling right there i've never seen that one before Full white Bugatti. We need to turn around and go see that. I have a hole in my pocket. But yeah, I've got no shoes on before you say why you're standing on your hey, seat. Hey, I have a question. What are those? What are those? Ugh. They still look, this is like a 10 year plus old car. And it still looks so sick. It's beautiful. Look at all the details. They are beautiful. Just look at that massive bug. Massive bug. It's a nice spec actually. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is it hasn't got, like there are some seats that you have in Veyron which are super nice. And this one has the seats where the headrest is disconnected, which I don't That's, yeah, that really like too much. But it's got the facelift lights, which look marvelous. And overall, it's just... I like the chrome grille with the white. Yeah. Very nice. Good surprise. Right, let's take some photos. Now it's time to deal with 
Monaco traffic as we're just driving past the Veyron one last time. Before we leave, we're gonna head home. Do you think we're gonna have time to do any gardening today? I don't know, we see. We'll we see when we get home. Let's just race it home. Bye bye Bugatti. See ya. Don't leave. Uh, we got actually some other cool whips here. We got the new Discovery. Oh. Van, uh, oh. Oh. <coughs> oh. California. Oh. Uh, 4GTS. Oh. And 570S. Oh, really cool. ugly. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then the C, the XC90. Anywho. Should we spin home? Let's. Three, two, one. I really respect it, but the reason why I wouldn't necessarily buy one is because of the lack of emotion. And this car it just has so much emotion. Oh, it's so good. It is really, really unbelievable. I'm getting sidetracked again. Let's go home. Way! We're back and we're home finally. What a day. What an exciting day. However, I'm a little bit dumb and I left the water sprinklers on so the garden's got in all wet which means we can't do any of showing you guys around the garden today but we'll do it tomorrow in uh, another vlog which will either be live tomorrow or the next day who knows but I want to say thank you so much for for watching this video for subscribing for always showing the support I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did taking the roof off of the Exige because it's just transformed the car for me and I'm so so excited I thought it couldn't get any better Ah, I'm so happy. Anyways, thank you as usual. Big shout out to the notification squad down below. I am reading your comments as always. And yeah, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. Snow Julia.